coming soon. I'm Louis DeVore, Secretary Treasurer of Dunster Investments, Inc. It was November of 2007 when we negotiated a final agreement to purchase 68 and a half acres, in my opinion, of the finest, most picturesque, well-located parcel of infill residential land in all of Lindsay. It stretches from Angeline Street North on the west all the way to the Victoria Rail Trail on the east. What makes it so desirable is a huge 28.8 acre parcel, a whopping 42% of the entire project of undulating wooded natural park land and open space with the picturesque Jennings Creek running through the total length of the property with heavily wooded slopes leading to our draft approved single family homes, most of which will be built on ravine lots. In designing the plan of the park system in conjunction with landscape architect Stuart McElroy, we received wonderful cooperation from LCVI and IE Weldon High Schools in having their eco and horticultural classes assist in rejuvenating the park area at an April 2011 Arbor Day planting session of 2,000 saplings in the first event of a planned four-year program. In addition to the 28.8 acres of wooded open space and passive parkland, all of our homes will have access to two existing and developed parks located adjacent to our southerly boundary, the now expanded Rogers Park and Edgewood Park. In the fall of 2011, the students from IE Weldon participated in a cleanup of the banks of the Jennings Creek, and in April of 2012, participated again in a second Arbor Day planting of a further 850 saplings in the Jennings Creek Park. Elsewhere on the site, you can watch YouTube videos of the students doing their thing at those events. We anticipate that the servicing of our first phase of 90 single-family lots, shown in orange on this plan, will begin in the autumn of 2013, with the initial houses budding up from the ground by the spring of 2014. In the next phases, there will be a further 68 single-family homes, one block of single-family common element townhouses, shown here in yellow, located in the northeast corner of Jennings Creek, and another block of condominium townhouses, Strict architectural controls will be exercised in this project to ensure all homes built will be compatible with the architectural style, choice of building materials, and with the topography of the community. Our single-family lots range from 50 to 65 feet in frontage, with a minimum depth of 105 feet with many deeper lots backing onto the scenic wooded areas. Construction of the major northwest trunk sewer through our property has now been completed. Jennings Creek will be serviced by Bell Canada using the latest in fiber optic technology to provide the best service and reception for telephone, internet, and in the next year or so, the ultimate in TV reception. Hi, how you doing? I'm Mike the Builder, better known as Mike Wineyburn in these parts. This is the woods of Jennings Creek. I've been in Lindsay now five years building, and this is the first opportunity I've had to come up here to see this beautiful development and the potential that it has. It's just amazing to be able to partake in something where you could give back to Mother Nature instead of making everything flat concrete. 97 homes. This is your back garden. What more could you want? Welcome to the woods of Jennings Creek. Lindsay is small town friendly with big city services. All the major banks are represented, a Loblaws Superstore, Price Choppers, a Canadian Tire Store, Rexall Pharma Plus, some very fine eating establishments, and five Tim Hortons to choose from. Almost everything you can find in most major cities, and for some great entertainment, there's the Academy Theatre. Lindsay, besides being renowned for a splendid variety of recreational facilities, also is the home of an excellent health care facility, the expanded 174-bed Ross Memorial Hospital with state-of-the-art medical equipment. It is centrally located just a little over a mile away from our site, down Angeline Street North at Kent Street. Coming soon!